watching me on YouTube. Good. Hello, my best at home friends and ladies. Mark the Punk Gamer, aka Mark the Punk. Yes, I'm back with more of a Saw franchise review series. Yes, this took me a while because of holidays for a reason. And now I'm back on the franchise train once again. And this time it's Saw 5. After Darren Lynn Bowsman uh, left the directing duties, guess who, which director are we replaced? A fucking production designer is actually directing this sequel. And his name is David Hackle. Wow! What a way to replace a director. Oh boy, what can I say about Saw 5? Shit. Um... Let's just go ahead and I'll say about a few positives about Saw 5, just to get it over with. So, I like the opening Saw 5 title card. It's all rustic and metal at the beginning. I thought that was pretty cool. It's one of the coolest openings in my opinion. Oh, not only I enjoyed the title card for it, it looks really cool. I, I do enjoy the pendulum trap that Seth ba Baxter was in. Um, unless you watch the unrated version, it's fucking gnarly. Okay, my next positive, um, Tobin Bell, as usual, as Jigsaw, he actually has one of my favorite quotes in, in this entire Saw 5 movie, is this quote right here. Killing is distasteful! To me. And the next positive, um, yes, Charlie Close's music. There's that one part of the movie that is actually metal as hell, when these, um, Jigsaw survivors is trying to get through the room of all the uh, glass jars and hanging in the ceiling scene. That's when the metal song kicked in. That's actually my favorite track in the whole movie. And it's actually kick ass. And also in the DVD menu, of course, it plays that track. And, uh,. My next positive is uh, Agent Dan Erickson is actually a really interesting character in my opinion. Um, I like this character in this movie. And he's cool, he's interesting, that's all I'm going to say about it. His name is uh, Eric Dan er Erickson in the movie. He's cool. He was also in the original Rush Hour movies if I remember. He, he made his cameo in as well. All that good stuff. It's going to be my final positive about this um, movie. Yes, there is a final positive. I kind of wanted Mark Hoffman to win at the end. like, And yes, he does win at the end. So that's the only last positive I can say about this movie. So I don't have any mixed opinions about this movie. I'm going to move straight into my fucking negatives now. <coughs> my main fucking pet peeve about this whole movie is the CGI decapitated head. All I'm going to say is this. What the fuck was that in the final product of that movie? That really pissed me off every time I seen that scene. That stupid CGI decapitated head of that one woman. Oh my god. It totally ruins it for me. Alright, my next negative is uh, the storyline between Peter Strom versus the Mark Hoffman is boring as hell to me. Um, I don't get that entertaining at all. It's just boring as fuck. So, like I said, I really hate the actor, like I said on my last um, review, the Peter Strom character. Oh my god, I still fucking hate that character. But thankfully, he dies at the end, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, the versus thing is kind of a boring storyline for this one. Next negative, all the characters fucking suck in this movie, except a, exception of a couple of characters I do like in, in the positive. So, all the rest of the characters can kiss my fucking ass. I hate all of them. I can't get invested by these characters, especially the the bald intelligent guy. He just um knows everything about the actors here and there. We can kind of figure out, we can figure out the actors on our own, dumbass. You jackass. Um, 
Oh my god, that guy. You like you like to spoil what the characters are their motivations, their hobbies, all kinds of things. It's just yeah. And my last and final negative about this movie, all the rest of the traps fucking suck. I'm sorry, they're not that inspiring to me. Yeah, um, all the traps suck in this movie, except for the pendulum trap I said in the positive, so. All the rest of them fucking suck, they blow. So, like I said about the C uh, CGI decapitated head, fuck you for that. Um, all I'm gonna say is, uh, that is all the negatives about this movie, so. My god, um, I have nothing else to say about this movie. Oh my god, this is the most boring and uh, messy fucking sequel of the fifth film, so. They call this the end of the series? Hell no. The fans want more than the next one I'll do, thank god. So, um, overall guys, um, I'm not a fan of this one. Uh, spoilers, um, this is my least watch in the series. To be honest, guys, um, I have, like I said, I have nothing else to say about Saw 5. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna end the new review right here. So, subscribe to me if you haven't. Click the bell to get notified of our next video and comment like about this. And, uh, most importantly, share this Saw 5 review so I can get more views and subscribers. And I will. See you later, my best-known friends and ladies, for Saw 6.